All right, folks, down in the shop today, going to be doing a review, a comparison, Milwaukee Fuel Right Angle Grinder Cordless against the Bauer Cordless Right Angle Grill. And you, know, you heard me chuckle a little bit there because a lot of you are saying, come on, Tom, there, there's no contest here. It's going to be Milwaukee all the way, right? Well, I'll tell you what, let's dive into it. I do want to take a look at the price. I do want to take a look at all the features. And I do want to talk about, uh, you know, which one of these would be best suited for you. Well, let's get started. All right, so starting with price, and price is all over the place for these things, uh, but Home Depot seemed to have it uh, the best priced, and uh, this is the paddle switch one. So there are different types of it, but this one's the paddle. It, it is uh, uh, obviously brushless, four and a half to five inch grinder, uh, variable speed paddle switch, and it tool only is 250, and you know, we're, we're you know, we should talk batteries, and we will talk batteries, but let's take a look at what the bare tool is from Bauer. All right, so here, here's the Bauer tool only, and this is also a brushless, although the one I have here is not brushless. Uh, so 40 bucks is without the batteries. Right, so here's batteries, you're gonna look at five amp hour batteries. You can buy one of them for 68 bucks, or you can get two of them for 80 bucks, kind of kind of a no brainer there, which deal I would go for. I, I think you would do the same. Or if you don't have one of the chargers yet, you have 99 bucks and get charger and the battery. Let's take a look at the Milwaukee. All right, so this battery at Home Depot, using Home Depot again, they seem to have the best. I, I know a lot of people are gonna say, no, I got it for a better price somewhere else. 99 bucks, you can get two for 199. I don't, that's really not much of a deal. You can get uh, four for 459. And then they've got this new XC uh, 6.0, which I'm, I'm sure that's six amp hour is uh 200 bucks so you know and, and these things are it's all about once you get tied into the batteries uh as to what you're going to stick with um i've got a little bit of both here in, in the shop so i'll tell you what let's take a closer look at the, at the products myself all right so on the Milwaukee, when it comes to rpms you've got 8500 rpms on the uh on the bower you can see we've got uh 7, rpm so uh you know the milwaukee's definitely faster when it comes to rpms than the bauer all right so the guard system on the milwaukee is easily adjustable you can just press this button right here and then you can move it however you want and i do like that that is a nice feature on the uh on the bower they don't have the same thing they got this locking thing right here you got flip up and then and then move it uh it's it works let's just put it that way this milwaukee's got the paddle switch there's your locking. I, I like that. On the uh, on the bower, you've got the switch right here. It, it also works. You, you can get used to both of them pretty easily. They both have uh, right-handed and left-handed handle holders. And when it comes to changing the cutting wheel, they, they're both, you can see, you got a locking pin right here. You got a locking pin right here on the bower and then a tool needed to take the, off the bower. The same thing with the uh, Milwaukee, very similar. Both similar when it comes to putting the batteries in and out. Uh, I should talk a little bit about, about the weight and how it's balanced. Uh, the, the Milwaukee is definitely a lot more heavy than the uh, the bower is. The bower is, you know, and, and you know, it's probably the size of the motor too, because remember we got 8,500 there and 7,000 on the bower, but there's definitely a li little bit more weight uh, the five amp hour battery uh, on the Milwaukee is definitely heavier than the uh, five amp hour battery on the Bauer. And to be honest with you folks, uh, this one's going to last longer per charge than this one. And, and it all depends. People are going to say, well, how much longer? Uh, well, it all depends what you're doing and how much you're cutting and, and everything like that. But I'm going to say you're going to get at least 25% more work out of this battery than you are from this battery. And that's just that's just my personal use. All right, operating in Milwaukee, obviously you've got this safety switch right here. And then... And it's got a brake, I like that. Bauer, it's got the switch right here. No brake. When it comes to the grip, they both got over molds in this area. Uh, I actually <laughs> like the grip on the Bauer uh, only because it's a little skinnier than the uh, than the Milwaukee is. And the Milwaukee, with that additional weight, uh, you can get a little bit more fatigued 
uh, run on this one than you can with this one. So in the end, which one would you take? Yeah, you know, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you shouldn't even be, you should be comparing this against like a DeWalt uh, or something like that. Uh, you know, if your job requires you to have one of these all the time and you're using it a lot, uh, the Milwaukee may be the way to go. If you're a home hobbyist like I am though, to spend the big time money on the Milwaukee when the Bauer will, for my every occasionally occasional use, I mean, this is a handy tool to have and I reach for my cordless grinder a lot and um, it shocks me as to how well the Bauer does work. For, for me, I'm going with the Bauer. But uh, I tell you what, leave it down in the comments. Which one would you choose? Would you take the Milwaukee? Would you take the Bauer? I think some people just re respond with DeWalt or you'll respond with, oh, I've, I've loved Makita for years. I like, used to like Makita too. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, leave the comments down below. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.